The entire patent process is really complicated, but let's try to simplify it for you. Let's go over the most important ones so that you have a good grasp of the basics. The very first step is a novelty search. You want to know if your invention is new. If your invention isn't new, then you obviously can't get a patent for it. This is one of the most important steps you're going to do when you go through the patent process. Here's a simple way that you can do a novelty search on your own for free. You can do a Google image search. All you have to do is go to google.com and type in a few different keywords about your invention. Click on the link images, which is at the top of the web page, and look through those images. Try to find products similar to your invention. If you want to take a deeper dive, then you can follow this seven step patent search strategy. It's a tutorial put out by the patent office. It's also the same steps that I would use to do a patent search if you hired me to do one for you. The second step is to decide how you're gonna make money on your invention. Will you build and sell your product or will you license and sell your idea to others? This will help you at least in part on whether you should follow provisional or non-provisional application and whether you should expedite the application. For example, you can file a provisional application if you're going to build and sell your product to make money. Provisional application allows you to delay all of the other patent-related expenses so that you can use your funds to launch your business. Now, if you're going to make money by licensing or selling your idea to others, you may want to file the non-provisional application and you may even want to do so with an expedite request. This allows you to get your patent sooner than later and oftentimes buyers want to buy patent rights and not just ideas that are not patented. The third step is to prototype your invention. You want to be able to prove to others that your invention actually works. It's also good because it helps others understand what your invention really is. For example, when you approach manufacturers or your patent attorney or even potential licensees, they'll have an easier time grasping the benefits of your invention with a working prototype. Next, the fourth step is to write down a business and marketing plan. If you can't convince yourself on paper that you're going to make money on your invention, then most likely you won't be able to make money in the real world. The fifth step is to prepare a patent application. Be aware that the patent process is long and is costly. You can listen to my other videos on how to prepare a patent application if you want to do one yourself. You can also contact me if you want me to prepare a patent application for you. Now that you've come so far, the sixth step is to submit that application. By filing the patent application, your invention is now patent pending. You have priority as of its filing date. When you're filing your application, you can file that application as a provisional or non-provisional application. If you don't know which one to file, I always recommend that you file the provisional. You can watch my other video on why you should file the provisional instead of the non-provisional if you're unsure. Now that you're patent pending, the seventh step is to market your idea. I highly recommend marketing your invention only after getting patent pendency on your invention. You need to start your product launch as soon as you file your application so that you can start to gauge marketability and make money on your invention. The eighth step is the examination process. After you file your patent application, eventually the patent office will examine your application. They're going to let you know if they'll grant you a patent on your invention or they're just going to reject you. I want to warn you that the first office action is typically a rejection, but don't be discouraged. Oftentimes you can overcome the rejection by filing a response and you can get your patent. After you get your first patent, it's a good idea to start building a patent portfolio, especially if your business is profitable. This is the ninth step of the patent process. If you prepared the application right, you've preloaded a bunch of information inside of that application so that you can get multiple patents off of that single application. The tenth step is to maintain these patents by paying maintenance fees. You have to pay three maintenance fees for each patent that you get. Finally, the eleventh step is to continue building your intellectual property portfolio. They would include securing trademarks and copyrights around your product. By following these steps, you're building a fence, a really high fence around your business so that you can be more profitable in the future.